Welcome to the video tutorials of the book Methods, Evaluation and Research in Education by Muhammad Akhtaruzzaman and today we are going to learn how to do reliability analysis in SPSS. Reliability analysis measures how consistent a test is across time, across items or across raters. The most common type of internal consistency type reliability is coefficient alpha, also sometimes called Cronbach's alpha. It tells how closely related a set of items are as a group. Let's go to an example to clear out your confusion. In a particular test, there are 10 items, Q1, Q2, Q3, and so on till Q10. The test is administrated and scored using a five-point scale. The item-wise score is kept in a file named Reliability Analysis. Considering the above scenario, now we are going to calculate the internal consistency or the alpha coefficient of reliability of the items in SPSS. Let's see the SPSS data editor window at the screen. Now, Go to File, then Open, then Data, and then Data File under SPSS Evaluation folder, and open the file Reliability Analysis in the SPSS Data Editor. The file is shown in SPSS Editor in the Data View. Let's see the variable view of the data. There are 10 questions. Question 1, Question 2, Question 3, and go on till Question 10 which are of numerical type and in ordinal scale of measurement. In the values column, you have to define the five-point scale. You don't have to define the scale in each cell under values column. Rather, you just write one time, then copy it and paste it where it is required. In that case, you may have to decrease the decimals from the default value 2 to 0. Now. Go back to the data view of the SPSS data editor. You see the questions at the top of each column and also see the opinion of the 105 respondents on those 10 questions. Just see 105. Can you imagine? You can change the data view pattern by clicking the value labels icon which is third from the right at the toolbar just below the menu bar. Each respondent has to go through each of the questions and give their opinions on the five-point scale. Just see at the screen. Now, go to the Analyze menu, then Scale, then Reliability Analysis. Select all the 10 questions and click the arrow button to take all of them to the items field. Now select the model as alpha. The model available are alpha, split half, parallel, etc. Again click the statistics button and select scale if item deleted. Click continue and then OK. Now, see the output at the screen. The alpha coefficient for the 10 items of the test is 0 0.768, suggesting that the items have relatively high internal consistency. It is to be noted that a reliability coefficient of 0 0.70 or higher is considered acceptable in most social science research situations. Now, let's see the column Corrected Item Total Correlation and Cronbach's Alpha if the item deleted. Just have a look at it. It is observed that if the item Q7 and Q10 have item total correlation 0 0.246 and 0 0.253 which is quite low and their deletion would increase Cronbach's alpha from 
0 0.768 to 0 0.772 and 0 0.781 respectively. Repeat the process and select split half method as model. Yeah, go to the analyze menu, then scale, reliability analysis, then model split half. Now click OK. Look at the screen. The correlation between two halves of the test will be 0 0.602 and the Spearman Brown coefficient for full test will be 0 0.751 where items Q1, Q2 till Q5 form part 1 and items Q6, Q7 till Q10 forms part 2. Hope you have learned reliability analysis to some extent. Thank you for staying with us. It's Yasdani saying you goodbye.